Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Hacks here. And today, I'm going to be showing you a way on how to get the Google Play Store on your Chromebook right now and allow you to access a bunch of apps that you could do play, play on your phone, download on your phone, or use on your phone. Android phone. Um, so basically, Google is working on a way to get the Play Store out to all the Chromebooks. But it's actually taking a long time. They announced this since 2016. And it's 2017 now, so it's not going to roll out until 2018. So I figured out a way on how to get it right now, today. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting your um, computer into a developer mode, and you're going to be able to access the uh, the Play Store through there. Okay, so what you're going to have to do first is you're going to have to press the power, escape, and refresh button at the exact same time. When you do that, a white screen will come up, a white screen will come up and it'll say on the screen, OS verification is lost or broken. So when you see that screen, don't worry, nothing is broken. You have to press Control D. And it'll take you to another screen that'll say, press space to re-enable Chrome OS or press enter to disable Chrome OS verification. You press enter, okay? And after that, it'll show you a screen, a loading screen saying, updating to the developer mode. Um, ETA is like two, three minutes, okay? After you see that screen, Another screen's going to come up. It's a final attempt, which is going to say, um, re-enable Chrome OS, press space, okay? But you, instead of that, you can press Control D again, and then your computer will boot up into the developer mode. Okay, once you're in the developer mode, you're going to be you're gonna open up. You can press Control alt t which is going to open up this developer shell. And in this developer shell, you could edit the code of your computer and edit the, edit the, the, the controls and edit everything in the computer. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna obtain um, administrative um, code, uh, coding access. So what you're gonna do first is type in shell, which is gonna bring up a prompt. And when you see that prompt, you can press, you type in sudo su, okay? Sudo su is basically giving you root access to the computer. And when you type that, you can press update, update, underscore engine okay underscore client space dash dash channel equals canary okay I spelled it wrong canary dash channel space dash dash update okay and you can press enter okay so then this will come up it'll say channel permanently set to canary channel okay and then you're gonna have to reboot it after you reboot it i already did this part after you reboot it you're gonna, you're gonna go to your settings okay and under settings you're gonna see, it might show up it depends on your computer you can click here and it's gonna show up google play store beta right but sometimes for some people it won't show and you're gonna have to do another step I'll show you the next step later so for the people that it does work it'll show Google Play Store beta you click on that and then you go to your you click on the search finder the launcher and then you you could pin it to your shelf and you could open it so when you open it it's gonna tell you some basic stuff sign with your Google account and etc but then you have full access to all the Play Store apps, games. Some of them are not compatible with the computer, so that most of them are. So I've already taken the liberty to download Crossy Road. I think most of you guys are familiar with Crossy Road, and it works excellent with the Chromebook. I think it actually works better than with a uh, with a tablet or Android phone. So with this game, you could use the controls. The arrow keys to move or you could use a stylus and click and drag but um while that's loading i'm going to show you guys the people who it doesn't show up as soon as you uh boot into the canary mode so canary mode is a actually a another um it's another it's another developer mode that allows that allows uh, people more beta access then um, than the regular developer mode. Um, I got it like yesterday, and 
every day it's giving me an update. So, I don't know if you guys would mind that. It's pretty stable. It's not going to crash your computer or anything. But it, And it's overall, it's okay. But this Play Store is actually a beta version. Okay. I've also donated some, I donate, downloaded some other games like Laserbox. And I tried downloading apps like Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, but that is not compatible with this computer. Okay, after that, so for people, if it doesn't work with um, your computer, you can open up the control, you can open up Crosh again. And once you're in the Crosh, Canary mode, you're going to type in sudo, sudo, su, okay? Then you can press, and then you can put in a hyphen also. A space, hyphen, okay? Oops, sorry, sudo. Actually, you're going to type in shell first. Then you can type in sudo. So, and then, but then you get put in a hyphen next to it. Sudo, su. There. You put a space and a double hyphen. Okay. And after that, you're going to type in echo, echo, space, um, begin quotation, or colon, actually. This thing. And then you're going to put hyphen. Double hyphen enable enable A R C actually enable hyphen A R C okay and you can close that and after that you're gonna put in um the less than sign no greater greater than sign and you're gonna put you can put space slash U S R slash local slash chrome underscore dev dot c o n f okay and then you can press enter okay and then you can type in m o u n t mount hyphen o space space b i n d bind slash user slash local slash chrome underscore dev dot c c o n f configure slash etc slash chrome underscore dev dev dot c o n f okay and then you press enter okay after that oh actually I typed this wrong sorry so basically, um, instead of putting mount O, you're going to press double hyphen O, M-O-U-N-T, double hyphen O, okay? And then after that, it's going to say, then after that, you press control shift QQ and sign out and then sign back in. And then as soon as you sign back in, it should immediately launch the Google Play um, app, okay? And it works on many computers. I've tested it on the Samsung Chromebook, I've tested it on a Dell Chromebook, I've tested it on an Acer Chromebook. It should work on Oka, uh Chromebooks though. If you want to go back to the stable mode and you want to get out of canary mode because you're scared or something, you're gonna you're gonna close the developer shell. You're gonna open up again. You're gonna open up again, okay? And you're gonna type in. Well, it lo it's loads. You're gonna type in shell, okay? You put sudo su, but this time instead of updating to the canary no mode. You're going to be updating back to the stable channel. So basically the same thing, update underscore, oh, I forgot the E. Update underscore engine underscore client, underscore client, uh, space hyphen ch uh, channel, sorry, channel um, equals stable hyphen channel space double hyphen update so basically it's updating to the stable channel other than the canary channel then you press enter and then it says succeeded and then it'll, it'll ask for a reboot so that's basically it guys you could uh you could download many apps with this update and you could get full access to the play store early um, some of you guys are not able to go into the developer mode, so I'm releasing another video on how to do it without, how to download apps without going to the developer mode. Alright, like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.